So again, um, today, super, super, super important, all right? And um, this is the equation that you'll be using forever, all right? As long as you're doing math, you'll always be talking about this type of equation. It's called the point-slope form of an equation, all right? So far, we did y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept. Why do they call it slope intercept? Because it tells you the slope and the y intercept. Why do you think they call this point slope? Because it tells you a, a point on the slope. and a slope. It tells you a point and a slope. So listen, you can't be behind. All right. So whatever you're doing, it's got to stop. You got to listen. You got to write things down. All right, and get ready. All right. Super important. If you were not happy with your grade, now's the time to change. Speak up. Ask questions. All right? So here we go. Introduction. All right? What I want to do is I want everybody to write point slope form. All right? Your point slope form is written as y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And the first time my teacher showed me that, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Who makes that stuff up? I don't believe you. All right? So I'm going to show you how they came up with that formula. All right? I'm going to show you how they came up with that formula. It's a very easy formula. All right? By the way, what does M represent again? Slope. Slope. Now, what do you think X1 and Y1 represents? The point. Very good. The point. That's perfect. All right, so again, the relationship here, I'm going to highlight this. Notice it's minus y1 there, but it's a plus here. That just means they're what? Opposites. Do you hear me on that? Now let me show you something else. Over here, this is a negative x1, right? But down here, it's a what? Positive x1. So you need to know they're opposites of each other. So very good with that. All right. I'm going to show you in a minute. All right. Do you agree x1 is not the same as negative x1? Yeah, they're opposites. That's what I'm telling you. This y1 right here is the opposite of that one. Do you hear me? Right, just because of that negative. And I've got plenty of examples, so you don't have to worry, even if you're like, I'm not 100% sure what he's saying. We've got lots of examples. You'll see it's super easy. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to try to show you where they came up with this equation. All right. So I want everybody to look at this. Write this down again and see if you recognize it. Everybody recognize that formula, right? Yeah. That is just the what? Slope formula. Right? It's just the slope. All right. Now what I want to do is, I'm just going to grab this and slide it over a little bit. All right, what I'm going to do now with this is I'm going to multiply both sides by x2 minus x1. Multiply this side by x2 minus x1. Now if I multiply both sides by x2 minus x1, what happened to this x2 minus x1 and this x2 minus x1? They canceled. Thank you. So now I'm going to rewrite it. Just generally, we put the m in front. So m times x2 minus x1 equals y2 minus y1. Now you should be saying that kind of looks the same. If I put the y's in front, it's going to be y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. Does everybody agree with that? That wasn't a big deal. Yes, sir. Good for you. No, I multiplied both sides by uh, this right here. Now, the reason why I did that is because that then allowed me to cancel that out, which then allows this formula right here to be very similar to this over here. You with me on this? Now, no, it does not. All right. Now what I want to do is we're writing the equation. 
all right? And if we're writing the equation, the equation had a y in it and it has an x in it. So this, what they did to simplify the process was just say I'm getting rid of that point, all right? Because the equation is now going to be written with how many points? One, not two. So there's no reason for the two. It's just the slope and the point, all right? So now what you're supposed to recognize is, wow, that's all that is, all right? This down here is just a different form for, now you gotta listen, for this slope formula. That's all it is, all right? And once I saw that, I thought, wow, that's super easy. I didn't have to memorize that formula because I know it's just the slope formula, all right? That's all it is. All right. Hopefully that made sense to you. All right. Now my recommendation is that you write the formula. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is above this, right, negative 3, 4, what does negative 3 represent? It represents the x coordinate, right? But in our formula, it's x what? x1. The 4 represents the what? Y1. And, of course, the M doesn't change. The M stays. Now let's write the formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. Everybody happy with that? Now, you want to go for it. Tell me what the answer is. You're awesome. That is exactly the correct answer. Or that is exactly the correct answer. Because it would be what? Minus a negative 3. And minus a negative 3, is, of course, is just plus 3. Am I okay? Is everybody okay with that, right? I promise you it's that simple. All right, it's that simple. So the minus just means change the sign. All right. Now we have a different technique for graphing. So the first thing we have to do is we plot the point. We're going to plot the point. So we're going to plot the point negative 3, 4. So everybody plot the point negative 3, 4. I don't think that should take you long. You can just kind of verify you're with me. Negative 3, 4, right? Then we have to use the what? Use the slope like we did before. We're going from the plotted point. What am I going to do from the plotted point? What am I going to do? Uh-oh. Sam, tell him. Charlie, what do you think? <coughs> Remember, it doesn't matter if it's right or it's wrong. It's better to just tell me what you're thinking so you can get better at thinking. Go. Up three over one. Good. Three over four. Very nice. Up three over four. Why is it up three over four? Because I looked at the what? I looked at the slope. The slope is three-fourths. So what does that mean to do? I go up three and over four. I go up three and over four from what? From that point, not from the origin, from the point. So notice, one, two, three, and then I'm going to go to the right four. One, two, three, four, and then I have my second point, and then I just do what? Graph the line. Come on, that wasn't that hard, right? It wasn't that hard at all. All right, especially if you know how to use the slope intercept, it's the same process, except we're not using the y intercept. We're using any point. There. All right, let's take a look now at number four. All right, somebody who's trying to get better, who wasn't happy. All right, Mr. Stauffer. Formula. Right. So y minus y one equals m. Um, open parentheses x one minus x. I mean 
x plus x1. Okay, fill it in for me. Now what? Um, Negative 2 minus y1, no, y minus, two, y minus negative 2. Which is what? Y plus b. Good. Um, Brilliant. There you have it. What's the matter with that? Is that good? Minus. I don't know what you mean because it's Plus one. Minus. As long as you know, we're going to move on. If you don't know, keep telling me. You're good or not? All right. Now, Mr. Stauffer, tell me how to graph it. Come on. Would you tell me how to graph this? What? Why are we doing 2, negative 5? 5, negative 2. And then? <laughs> Anybody have any issues with that? <coughs> what? Morty, you're going to have to help me. Yeah. What, what, yeah, right. We're plotting that point, right? Okay. Six. Good. Okay. Go. So, first you've got to do the formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And then, would it be Y minus 0 equals 2 over 5 times X minus 6? That's beautiful. Easy, hold you. Now what? Okay, now you gotta plot the points. So no. would it be negative six over zero? Why negative six? Because negative six is like. No, 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 no. Because somebody else asked me that question. You always are referring to this point right here. Mm -hmm. So that it's not negative. Oh. You see what I'm saying, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You gotta pay attention to details, everybody. Okay. So we go to six zero. Yep. And then but can I go up two and over five? No, so you have to go backwards. That's right. So I have to go instead of going up two, I have to go what? Down. Down two, and then what? Everybody with me on this? Any issues? Alright, you get the next one. I'm ready. Can you write down the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1? Now what? You do y minus, well y plus 9 equals 5 times times x minus 0. Technically, do we really have to put the x minus 0? No, we don't have to, but it's good just to show you know what you're doing. All right, now tell me what to do from there. So we plot 0, negative 9. And then? And then you go up 5 and right 5. All right. I'm gonna say. But here's where you make a mistake. Everybody's now three people in a row have asked me this. 
we're plotting that point. You agree with me or not? You sure? I'm listening, but what? But you want to use this one, right? Is that what you're saying? So I'm telling you, that's just part of the equation. That's not the point. You hear what I'm saying? I need you to make sure that you're hearing. Everybody needs to hear me, that they understand this is the point, not the point that's inside the equation. You hear me now? Everybody's got to use that point. What? So five is the slope. Five is the slope. Because it says m equals five. What? No, you're going to think about that one on your own. Come on. That's a problem. Why is it a problem? Because you already know if something's undefined, what type of line is it? It's a vertical line. So you just plot the point. One, negative eight. Then draw a vertical line. Anytime you draw a vertical line, it's always x equals. x equals the what? The x value. x equals 1. That was a good job, by the way. All right, everybody take a look now at number 9. Put your hand down for a second. Just think about what I just said on number 9. If you have an undefined slope, everybody in here should be able to tell me it's just a what type of line? It's just a vertical line. If the slope is undefined, it's a vertical line. And every vertical line is in the form x equals. Do they agree with me? All right. So we don't write this in point slope form. We just say x equals 1 because it's a vertical line. Just look up and said it's a horizontal line. You should just be able to say it's y equals whatever the y value is. All right. That's actually a good question. No. 10. Okay. So y minus y1 equals m. Beautiful. So now what? And then you do y plus 3 equals 1 eighth, or uh, parentheses a plus 7. Good job. Perfect. So, Perfect. So now tell me what to do. Then you go um, to the side 7 and then up 3. Up 3 or down 3? Fourth person now. Uh, You're so referring to that point. So yeah, yeah, so left seven, down three. Then from that point, I have to go what? You go um, up one and then over eight. Yes, up one, over eight. And then we're going to draw the line. All right, anybody have any issues? Anybody have any issues? That's not bad, right? It's a different form. Tomorrow we have a different form, too. All right? So here we're going to identify the point and the slope. Then we're going to graph it. All right, so now you're supposed to recognize this is in point-slope form. So... I want someone who's trying to get smarter. Oh. Tell me what the slope is. What is it, guys? AC. Um, two. two. What point are we dealing with? Um, Close. Are you not? Shh. What is it? What point? Sam. Uh, no. No. Cancel. Siri, cancel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So I'm trying to find the point here. So we're going backwards, guys. We're going backwards. So now you corrected yourself. Go. Yes. Negative four comma three. Negative four comma three. All right. That would make me wrong, remember? And everybody knows I'm never wrong. So instead of correcting me, correct yourself. Why is it negative four? 
Yeah, you pulled it from the equation to a point. And in the equation, it was minus. And the minus just means when you pull it out, change the sign. That's all it means. All right, that's all it means. All right, so now we're going to graph this. All right, so we're going to go negative 4, 3. And then from there, I go what? Up 2 over 1. So let's go up 2 over 1. And there you have it. Well, that's not hard. All right, let the fun continue. <coughs> this right here is the y value, agree? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You don't have to tell me. You see it or not? Yeah. And then this is the what? Right? And they're always what? Opposites. Right? When I pull it out, change the sign. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's see if you can do number 14. Don't embarrass me. Okay. So what then, point are we talking about? Uh, and the slope. That's how easy, guys. Come on. It should be that quick. Tell me to graph it what? Uh, then... Easy, easy, easy. Everybody agreeing with me? What's the matter? Let me see. All right, go ahead. Loud and proud. And then what? Beautiful. Okay, so now what? Right? And then what? Couldn't have said it better myself. There we have it, guys. Very easy. Very, very, very easy. All right, let's see what's coming up next. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip down to 22 now. All right, we're going on to 22. All right, now we have a problem with 22. Somebody tell me what the problem is. Somebody, what's the problem? We don't know the slope. That's exactly right. How many points do we have? Two. We have two points, right? How many points do we need? Two. We just need one. But we need two to find the what? You have to find the slope. All right, so look how simple this process is, guys. Please look how simple. When you're just given two points, you have to find the slope. That's the first step. So M equals 5 plus 3 over negative 3 plus 7, which is 8 over 4, which is 2. <coughs> we have any issues with that so far? All right. Now, you have an option. You can select this point, or you can select this point. Does it matter? No. Now, I'm going to tell you. They don't look the same. So we're going to do both of them so I can show you something. So your answer for number 22 would be y plus 3 equals 2 times x plus 7. Or y minus 5 equals 2 times x plus 3. Now most people would say those equations don't look the same. They don't really look the same, do they? But are they the same? Yes. They're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. They don't look the same, but they are the same. 
All right, if we have more time, I'd show you why they are the same. But we'll look at that tomorrow. All right, is everybody okay with number 22? Do we agree? All you do is you find the slope. And once you find the slope, you're right back what you were doing the time before this. That's all. What? Was it, was it five, one, two? I have no idea what you're asking. Nine. Nine. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. No, you just pick one. I just showed you for my own reference, right? Either one of those is okay. All right, either one. All right, you don't have to write them both. Okay. All right, so twenty-four. All right, good. What to do? Good. Which is what? Beautiful. So now write the equation. Good. So all you're doing is you're picking one of those points. Which one do you want to choose? All right. So what you're going to do is you're just plugging that in like we did up up. So this now is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You agree with that? So this right here you told me was x1 and this is y1. You're just plugging the numbers in now. Y equals Not y equals, but y. Y minus. Uh, y minus 6. Good. What's the slope? You just told me what the slope was. Negative what? Let him learn. Go ahead. Beautiful. That's it. Y minus 6 equals negative 3 times x plus 2. Or... Y minus 0 equals negative 3 times X minus 0. Do I really have to put the zeros there? No. no. Totally not necessary. Right. So if you put the zeros there, then Y equals 3X. Negative 3X. Perfect. All right, Jude, you're up. 26. Good job. But that just reduces to negative one, right? Yeah. Okay. So now go. You're good, you're good. Um, equals negative one, um, x plus. Easy, right? All right, and I'll just go ahead and put or, you don't have to. y plus 2 equals negative 1 times x minus 5. All right, Hannah, you're up. What? Do you have to do... Do you have to add y? I did it with x. So Mo, listen, you're trying to do it different. Don't do it. All right? This is a process. I promise you. All right? Later you can do things you want. Okay? Not right now. It's too important. Oh, so it would be true. You have to write both of them? No. We said that. No. You don't. You just have to write one equation. Hannah, go. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Don't be sorry, kiddo. Just take the time. So you got y minus 6. Yes. You yeah, have that. Good. All right, Kenzie, tell me. to go. And then you do y minus 0 equals negative 4 fifths indices x plus 1. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, somebody have a question with that? Um, let's do this. Or just in case some of you use the other one, y plus 8 equals negative 4 fifths times x minus 9. Olivia? Yep, you're up. 32. So, Uh-oh. I want you to, everybody concentrate on this problem right here. Which means? Can't divide by zero. Do you want me to show you why, or you know why, right? Okay. All right, go. Now what? If it's undefined, what type of line is it? So the answer is. No, the slope is no solution. There is no slope. But why did I highlight the two fives? Because that's the answer. It's the oh, equation. Right, x equals 5. When you get an undefined slope, you're supposed to know automatically it's x equals 5. <laughs> whatever the x value is. x whatever the x value is. Yes, it'll be whatever the y is. All right, so we still have a minute or two, so I want to go back and just... Let's knock off uh, 18. I try to trick you on number 18. Watson, thank you. So what point are we talking about here? Um, M equals 3. Good. Because there's no y value there. You know what I'm saying or not? I can show you. It's It would be like y minus 0. You see what I'm saying on that? All right, that's a kind of a little trick question. So now what do I do? You mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. Right. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Karina's up. 20, Karina, what? Mm. Uh, 
Um, M is negative four. M is what? I got one of the four. Good. Okay. Four. Is the y? Is the y not in three? Why? I, I didn't really. That's okay. Listen to me. That's why. Listen to me. You did really good on the last test, so. Don't be afraid to ask me something. All right, and it goes for everybody. Come on. All right, if you don't understand something, you got to speak up. All right? So do you agree the 3 corresponds to the y, right? Yes. Right, but it's the minus sign. So it means it's the opposite. Okay. So what's the x going to be? Um, it's 5. Just 5. You with me? All right, so now tell me what to do. Um, you can ask 5, negative 3. Okay. And then you go down 1, negative 4. Beautiful. Good with that? All right, I mean it, guys. If you're not sure about something, you got to speak up. All right, I feel good about that. All of the evens are done. Now you only got to do is go back and do the what? To the odds. And I'll post I'll post the solutions. So if you need to double check, you should. Always verify your answers. Anybody have any questions? All right. That was a very good job today. Wow. Perfect timing.